are you? A student trying to break into cybersecurity, a tech professional looking to transition into a role in security, or simply, someone who is interested in hacking and doesn't know how to get started? If so, this video is for you. In this video, I am going to outline the skills one needs to become an ethical hacker and how to go about mastering them. This will give you a good framework on how to get from newbie to master hacker. Hey guys, it's John here from Hacker Joe Channel. Welcome to Hacker Joe Channel. We show you technology like hacking skill, how to hack, how to be hacker, programming language, best website, best things, and amazing things. Make sure to subscribe to channel and don't forget to click notification bell. And if you have any concerns, questions, or opinions about this video, just leave on the comment down below. Now let's get start the video. First off, what exactly is an ethical hacker? Unlike malicious hackers, ethical hackers have the permission and approval of the organization which they're hacking into. Learn how you can build a career from testing the security of the network to fight cybercrime and enhance information security. Ethical hacking is the practice of performing security assessments using the same techniques that hackers use, but with proper approvals and authorization from the organization you're hacking into. The goal is to use cybercriminals' tactics techniques, and strategies to locate potential weaknesses and reinforce an organization's protection from data and security breaches. However, thanks to the change in the landscape in the InfoSec industry, is it now possible to make a living as a hacker legally? Those who do are referred to as ethical hackers. Now let's look. 8 Roadmap of an Ethical Hacker The first roadmap is Networking and OS Fundamentals It is important to understand how computer networks and operating systems work. This will help you understand how a lot of modern exploits work and how systems are protected against these exploits. Also, you need to know how OSI, protocol like TCP, IP, IP address, MAC address, port, socket, DNS server, ARP, RARP, switches, routers, servers. You have to know they how work. Here is some common application of computer networks. Helps you to share resources such as printers. Allows you to share expensive softwares and database among network participants. Provides fast and effective communication from one computer to another computer. Helps you to exchange data and information among users via a network. To learn computer networking and operating system. I recommended following college course or learn online course like YouTube, Udemy and more. If you want basic networking video I will work just put on the comment. The second roadmap is programming language. The best hacker often come from a programming background, because knowing how to build software gives you a comprehensive perspective about how the software and website works and help you to break them. An ethical hacker often has to automate large parts of their workflow and programming skills are required for that. So, the first things to master is basic programming skills. I recommend to start with free resources, like YouTube and free website to learn programming like W3School and more. These two free resources will teach you the basic of how to program. A good general-purpose language to learn Python. It is easy to learn and great for quickly automating security tasks. Now if you ask, why to learn programming for ethical hacking, yourself? The answer is this. Hackers are the problem solver and tool builders. Learning how to program will help you implement solution to problem. It also differentiates you from script kiddies. Writing programs as a hacker will help you to automate many tasks which would usually take lots of time to complete. Writing programs can also help you identify and exploit programming errors in applications that you will be targeting. Now if you know important of programming, let's look which programming language to learn. If you want web hacking, I recommended JavaScript, HTML. I know HTML is not programming language but it is important to know the other is SQL. JavaScript code is executing on the client browser. You can use it to read save cookies and perform cross-site scripting, etc. HTML will make it easy for you to identify and exploit weaknesses in the code. And the other is SQL. Using SQL injection to bypass web application login algorithms that are weak, delete data from the database, etc. Now let's look if you want building tools and script I recommended to learn. Python, Ruby, Bash, and Perl. 
They come in handy when you need to develop automation tools and scripts. The knowledge gain can also be used in understand and customization the already available tools. If you want writing exploits and shell code, I recommended to learn C and C++. They come in handy when you need to write your own shell codes. Exploits, rootkits or understanding and expanding on existing ones. The usefulness of programming language depends on your scenario. Before all this programming language I recommended to start with Python Basic. So, start today Python now. The third roadmap is security fundamentals. There are a few more things that are helpful to all ethical hackers. First, make sure you are proficient in using the Linux command line. The command line is the most efficient way of interacting with computer systems. And as an ethical hacker, you will spend a lot of time there. To learn the command line, use linuxcommand.org. The fourth roadmap is choose your specialization. There are many specializations you can focus on as an ethical hacker, and they all require expertise in their own set of domain knowledge. You should gain a general understanding of all of these fields and find out which you are more interested in. Then, you should choose one and focus on gaining expertise in that field. Now let's look for ethical hacking specialization. The first is web application security. You could focus on the vulnerabilities that commonly affect web applications. As web applications become more complex, securing web applications has evolved into a field of its own. A good way of learning about web applications is by starting with the OWASP Top 10 Vulnerability. Then, dive deeper into the architecture and development process of web applications and how they affect security. The second is mobile application security. In this field, you learn how to hack and secure applications on different platforms such as Android and iOS. You should focus on learning about the security features and limitations of modern mobile operating systems and the vulnerabilities commonly found on popular platforms. The third is network security. Dig deeper into the field of network security and learn about the vulnerabilities that affect fundamental network technologies. Network security involves the authorization of access to data in a network which is controlled by the network administrator. Users choose or assign an ID and password or other authenticating information that allows them access to information and programs within their authority. The last is binary security. Binary security is the field of attacking and protecting binary applications. Binary exploitation is attacking a compiled application to elevate privileges or perform arbitrary actions on a targeted system. Binary security is using tools and methods in order to secure programs from being manipulated and exploited. These tools are not infallible, but when used together and implemented properly, they can raise the difficulty of exploitation greatly. If you want to become ethical hacker you have to choose your specialization. The fifth roadmap is Understanding Cryptography Cryptography refers to secure information and communication techniques derived from mathematical concepts and a set of rule-based calculations called algorithms to transform messages in ways that are hard to decipher. These deterministic algorithms are used for cryptographic key generation, digital signing, verification to protect data privacy, web browsing on the internet, and confidential communications such as credit card transactions and email. The sixth roadmap is communication skills. Communication skills are extremely important for an ethical hacker. Writing and communicating your findings to your clients will be a big part of your job. Focus on being detailed in your writing and be as clear and concise as possible when communicating. Learn to communicate your technical knowledge to different audiences by keeping a technical blog or by contributing to wikis or online learning sites like YouTube. The seventh roadmap is practicing anonymity. Over the years, anonymity on internet became one of the most crucial issues, to the point that nowadays a huge range of tools is out there to help us leaving no traces around. The need for being invisible online is not only a prerogative of cyber criminals, anonymity is also a fundamental feature for hacktivists, namely those who practice digital activism. One example is the anonymous movement. And such name clearly reflects the need to be untraceable during online protests. If you need to secure your structure, you should actually consider another good reason, to be anonymous as a means of prevention. Avoiding any exposition to the internet, where you can potentially be attacked by anyone. Instead, if you work in the investigation field, 
You may be interested in knowing the tools used by cyber criminals to execute their attacks staying anonymous and avoiding controls. Some tips to be anonymity in internet is use VPN and proxy chain. The last or eighth roadmap is, practice these more. Lastly, it is not enough to just understand how things work. It is also important to understand what these theoretical vulnerabilities and defenses look like in real-world applications. So, you should practice hacking and defending. Practice by playing CTFs. A good one to start with for beginners is over the wire. Another good way to practice is by building vulnerable applications with minimal protection. Breaking it yourself. And finally, implement fixes to protect against the vulnerabilities that you've found. This way, you learn to both hack and protect an application at the same time. Bug bounties are also a great way to practice. HackerOne and BugCrowd are two of the biggest platforms. With a wide variety of clients, pick a program related to your chosen field of expertise and hack away. On bug bounty programs, you are hacking actual targets instead of simulated ones like in CTFs. So it will be a lot harder, but a lot more realistic. Thanks for watching this video so far. If you like these videos then please share them with your friends and colleagues. If you have any questions or feedback then drop a comment.